persons who are active in their walk of life. They're living, aware of their purpose. They are responsive to their call and are interested in leaving this world better than they've met it. You may know Kareem, the filmmaker of Cargo, the largest budgeted Bahamian film project to date. You may know Kareem, the director of the live commercial. But today, we will learn more about Kareem, the man. So Kareem, tell us about your background and your beginning. Um, I grew up very close to my paternal grandmother and we watched movies as a form of bonding. And I realized how powerful this medium was, like it taught me so much about the world. And um, when I was 17 years old, I was like, I'm going to college and I'm going to study film. It was my mother who was like, if that's what you want to do, I will support you in it because I want to support the dreams of my children. And so I went to film school in Miami and I got there. And uh, the professor at the time or the head of department said, by the end of the semester, half of you guys would drop out. And at the end of the day, only a few of you, if you're lucky, will ever work in the film industry. And so I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, that's probably going to be the guy from Nassau who grew up at one movie theater. <laughs> and so I made a determination to stick with it and to follow um, my authentic voice and tell the stories that were important to me. And here I am. What is your morning routine like? So I wake up. <laughs> and some days is really great and some days it's a little harder to get up because depending on the workload but I always make it a point to say thank you three times before I get up um, I meditate for five to ten minutes and then I have to work out so I do a, a small 20 minute circuit because if I wait till later it never happen and then I begin my day do you have any daily rituals Yes, I do have two daily rituals, which is a part of my morning routine, which is saying thank you regardless how I feel and being grateful for the breath. Um, and also, uh, it's very important that I, that I spend uh, at least five to ten minutes uh, centering. When did you first consider yourself alive? That is a very good question. I considered myself alive when I had made my first uh, documentary. And it was a documentary I made for $150 called The Lutheran Adventure. And The Lutheran Adventure was a movie that had me uh, with my friend Kevin going from Spanish Wells all the way to Bannerman Town with, uh, with just a, a few dollars and interviewing the most interesting Bahamians we can find. And it was premiering at, at the film festival. And there was a line around the block to get in. And I was, and I, I came in with my mother and I was just like, where do you think all these people go in? She's like, they're here for you. And I was just like, what? <laughs> what is one app on your phone that you couldn't live without? One app that I could not live without um, on my phone would be the maps. And <laughs> seriously, because I have a very awful sense of direction, even in Nassau. So that's, that's an app. I need, and also, and also, I would say the other app that I use a lot is um, Netflix. I watch Netflix on my phone sometimes because it's easier to watch it in bed. What are some of the secrets to your success? Secrets to success. Uh, I can tell you things that I live by. And the main thing that I live by is to make my work with integrity, to be honest with myself. Uh, to not be afraid um, and when I am afraid I should explore that feeling um, to always speak up for what I believe is right and to treat others with kindness because uh, because what you give out will re be returned and and I've had a lot of people be kind to me and I, and I think that's because I've also extended kindness to them. What is some advice that you give to up-and-coming film directors and producers? My advice to upcoming uh, film directors and producers is just stay the course, like trust in yourself. Um, it's not every day, it's not always going to be a good day, but every day is a blessing. Um, learn as much as you can. Uh, share your work, you know. Don't be afraid of rejection. Rejection is a daily part of this life. And you, 
you, you keep going, you know, and, and you, the people, sometimes the people who really make it are the people who, who had the courage to put themselves out there. Do you have a favorite quote? Do I have a favorite quote? Yes, I do have a favorite quote. So, and this is how I treat my friends and my family and loved ones is like, I will not always remember the days that the pain is easy to remember, but today I will try and remember the sweet moments that we shared. Hey, grab something out of the way. Feels so good to be alive.